Draw a top card and place it face up in the middle of your playing area to start your grove. Okay, 13. Look at that. That's sweet looking. Playing a card, playing dice. Okay. Play a card. Place a card uh, from... All right, draw two cards in your hand. There we go. Yeah, this is... Okay, so grove is just orchard again. Place a card in your hand um, on top of your grove. You may rotate the card 90 or 180 degrees before placing it. At least three or at least one tree or glade of the newly placed card must overlap a tree or glade of your grove. Uh, the fruit of the overlapped tree must match the fruit of the tree underneath it. If the tree overlaps a glade that has a die on it, then the tree's fruit must match the die color. However, once per game, you may place a tree that does not match um, die color and it gets a squirrel. Squirrel. And then that's it. Any tree can overla overlap an empty glade. Okay. A glade can overlap any tree or other glade. Um, okay, then for each tree that overlaps the tree in your grove, if there is no die underneath, then place a die on the overlapping tree with its value equal to the amount of fruit on both trees. For example, if there's two fruit overlaps with one fruit, you show a three. Uh, the die color must match the tree fruit. Okay, so we're just matching tree fruit. Okay. Uh, if there's already a die on the tree underneath, then place it on the overlapping tree and increase its value. If the glade overlaps a tree, then place the die without changing its value on the overlapping glade. Okay, so glades. We'll just let you put another thing. Okay. A tree may overlap a glade that has a die on it, only if they match the same color. That value will exceed six, then rotate it to show ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's the ten side, right? Because there's no one. Yeah, okay. If a tree overlaps an empty glade, then a die is not placed on it. Okay. Draw another card, and then you keep going. Okay, so the squirrel. Um, let's see, the squirrel, once per game, you may place a card so that the overlapping tree's fruit does not match the tree underneath. If there is a die on the tree underneath, then place a die token, place the squirrel token on the overlapping tree to show that the fruit has been snaffled by the cheeky creature. This tree may no longer be overlapping. Okay. Alright, I think, I think that's pretty basic. So, I don't know what these are on the back. Oh wait, is that part of scoring? All right, so I guess, for example, really what happens is you try to overlap these cards, right? So, like, this is this is how we want to overlap it. Like, this orange and the orange with the yellow. So, that's going to be three and a two. So, three orange, two yellow. Sweet. Then we draw a card. And then it's a good game to play, like, on a lunch break type of thing. Um, all right, so the glade we can mess around with. Oh, wait, wait. This is what we want to do. So we want two more, which brings us up to five. And then those are empty spaces, so you don't get any dice on them. Okay. The problem is trying to get that orange one again. Uh, actually, we can do it. Oh, uh, wait, wait. No, we can't. Because that's going to mess up these two. But yeah, it's a good, like, lunchtime game. That can be pretty good. Um, pretty fun because you want to score obviously really high points but it can be tricky eh. i don't want to use the squirrel yet it can be tricky trying to figure it out i mean because you can just do like a corner and make it work but like i feel like ugh. all right so two and four four and two oops two um, and then you, I think you just add up the die values, but I don't know what the wheelbarrow. Oh, the wheelbarrow is 15. Interesting. I don't, I don't really know what we would do with that, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, so this is one of those games that I would play on like my lunch break all the time. What would happen if you put a glade on top of a tree? I don't think anything happens, right? If a glade overlaps a tree or another glade that has a die on it, then you place a die without changing its value on the overlapping glade. If the glade overlaps a tree, and no die is placed. All right, so. Yeah, 
If a tree overlaps an empty glade, then the die is not placed on the tree. If a tree over okay, so like here, I think this will go up by two. So this would be four. This would be two. And then I guess the glade now takes over that tree, right? The tree just doesn't do anything, I would assume. If a glade overlaps a tree um, that has a die on it, then place a die without changing its value. If a glade overlaps a tree or another glade that has a die on it, it doesn't. If a tree over if a glade overlaps a tree without a die on it, then no die is placed. Okay. Not the that has a die on it, only if a tree places a die. Okay, yeah, I think that's how that works. Oh no. Alright, so here. Wait, do we have a better play somewhere? Let's do it up here. So four and two on yellow. Four and two. Though we're kind of running out here. Alright, then we have We need no more yellow. Yellow is not good for us right now. Or no extra yellow, I should say. Unless we do... Hey, hey, giant lasagna. How's it going, man? How you doing? Now let's do some greens. So, three and a three. Okay. So, two threes. We're really just trying to test this out. See if we can get the live streaming stuff to work good and whatnot. Uh, end game is when you finish everything. Place the final card. Okay. All right, cool. How dare your computer break and you go MIA, Mr. Favorite Streamer? I know. it's It's been rough. Trust me. It's been depressingly rough. Um, I have not, would not recommend. Oh, here we go. All right. So that's going to be a four, a two, and then it's going to go up to a three. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Why is there a yellow on here? That should be an orange. Okay, so that's not what we're gonna do. Man, we messed up on that. Jeez. How about the kids to bed? What game is this? This is Grove. This is the sequel to Orchard. I've never played it before until now. Because I actually I'm just doing this because I wanted to test things out. Uh three and a four. Three green. But this is just a like a good, like you're just playing lunch and you just want to play a really quick game, really simple and fun. Um you know, we don't want to spend too much time, you know, doing doing anything. This is this is the game you play. All right, yellow doesn't help us. Uh, wait, does that help us? Yeah, this helps us. So four and green, and then three and two. So let's go to three, four, and this goes to two. So that was our last card. So then what happens is just add up the, the die values, right? So it's four, six, 10, 12, 19, 22, 25, 29, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. So 41 would give me, uh, you need a pip talk. I didn't, I didn't do well, apparently. <laughs> so then what you do is after you finish, you clear all this out. And in the beginning, we set nine cards aside, right? So you're only playing with half the deck. I don't know what the backs of these are yet. I have to look that up. It's like a different expansion or whatever. Um, so again, you set it up and then you get rid of these cards. Pick up the other nine. Shuffle them. And then, uh, wait, wait, what is it? Top card you put out. And then you draw your two cards. And you just start a second game, right? And now you're already set up for your second game and just kind of go with the, the flow at this point. So that's what it kind of makes it cool, in my opinion, uh, of how it works. You can get two games in like less than 20 minutes. It's pretty quick. And again, it's just kind of strategy, figuring it all out. Um, not too hard or anything, but it's fun. It's a fun game. Um, no. Yes, this works. So three and two. All right, three green, two yellow. But like I said, they're they're coming out with the, the, the last one. So it's a trilogy of games. I don't remember what the last one's called. It's on its way. It actually comes tomorrow. So I'm excited to um, 
to try it because I, I think it's supposed to be different, but I don't actually remember. Nope, it doesn't work. Oh, wait, is this right? Yes, let's go. Wait, wait, did I messed that die up. No, no, we're good. Okay, so four, three, and two. So four. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see how it is. I'll, I'll give it a play sometime on stream so we can check it out. You all can see how you like it, how you don't like it. Um, really cool concept. Yeah, it's really simple. And just, just like I said, it's, it's a nice little just fun game to play. Um, since you all are here, I might as well reward people for being here. So we do, we should be having a Kickstarter game coming. Um, a Kickstarter preview game coming. So I'm not going to be doing a review like most Kickstarter people do. Oops. I'm going to be, oh, my, my other PC was just like, nope, we're done. Uh, I'm going to be doing a, a Kickstarter preview gameplay. I can't talk about what it is yet until it actually shows up, but there we go. Is there one called a gentle rain? Actually, wait, I can look it up. Uh, it's on side room games. Side room games. So let's see. The third one is called. um forage the third one's called forage um it actually may just be the same as that game but it, it looks slightly different i think it's i think it's slightly different but yeah it's called forage uh so yeah we'll have a all right we'll do this three and two we'll have a um A Kickstarter game coming to us soonish. Hopefully, we can we can play it on stream. And that's another reason I'm trying to figure this all out because I've been working with companies, as you all may or may not know. Um, so this goes up by two, and this goes up by three, or goes up by one. So this is up to four, and this goes up by one. So this is at four as well. So I've been working with companies trying to get things going, and of course, like after I started getting like commitments and stuff from companies, board game companies, to like start working with them more, computer does, which you know. It's great. It's a great way of doing things. Uh, so that has been rough and kind of really bad for everyone involved. Uh, we'll do this two threes, but I'm again, I'm hoping with this app, we can start doing that. So once those games start coming in, we'll start doing those. Um, there are games that I think I would enjoy. They're not just like any old game. Um, again, I'll mention it once I get it. Cause I don't want to say anything. And cause like they, they back out the last second for whatever reason. Cause maybe they're saying like, Hey, D20 doesn't have a working youtube or working thing right now so we don't want to you know work with that for whatever reason um which i would understand um but yeah you ever tried dice throne or is it too no i i have original dice throne boxes from season one uh, let me phrase it. i have one box because my buddy has another box and i like it I just wasn't into all the X-Men stuff they were doing and like Marvel stuff because I have enough Marvel stuff, right? I, I enjoy Marvel as much as I'm a nice person, but I have too much of it now at this point. So I feel like I didn't want more of it. Um, but I do like Dice Throne. It's a very good game. I'm interested to see what their new stuff will look like. All right, last two cards. Um, but yeah, so hopefully we'll get that stuff in soon. And again, I think it's games that I would enjoy it's not just like me just playing games to like you know just play it like i'm not getting paid for it um just trying to work with some companies so but we'll see how that goes um we need like a good line and we just haven't gotten one wait is that it okay so this would kill this bush but i think we're okay with that i think we're good with the squirrel being there because this here is gonna be really good so this goes with the f all right so what we have to do is very carefully i think we did that right i think it did that way right um okay so squirrel's gotta go there so that's dead squirrel will equal negative one point so this goes up to four hopefully we picked up those things right this goes with the four this goes with the six if not then i accidentally cheated one of my friends really likes Dice Throne, but I do not. <laughs> it's it's fine, right? It's Yahtzee. It's basically Yahtzee. And I have no problem with it. Um, 
But like I said, I just didn't like all the other stuff they did. I also like didn't love their marketing campaign for their Marvel stuff. Like it just, it wasn't for me. Um, not that it's a bad thing, but it kind of just grated on me. Ugh. I'll just put it down here. So three and three. All right. So three. This was really bad, chat. All right. So three and three. So now we kind of, this is a minus one. So we'll do um, three. So that's two. All right. So two, five, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 26, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. We got 41 again. So that's it. That's how you, that's how you play. I mean, that's 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 it that's that's the entire game that was two games of grove and orchard is exactly the same